I am Rebecca Tonander and I am the communications officer at NEMO. And, and it's really a true pleasure for me to introduce you to Kim Muleve, who will explain how museums can promote democracy and why they must do so. And Kim Muleve is not only the Secretary General of the Finnish Museums Association, he is also a member of the NEMO Executive Board. And Kim is also the Managing Director of the FMA Creations, whose main product is the Museum Card. And if you don't know about it, it's a really great initiative that they have in Finland where you get the museum card and you have access to pretty much every museum in Finland, if I'm correct. So it's really great. And in his presentation, Museums Must Promote Democracy, what? Um, Kimo will introduce us to Finland's brand new Museum Act. And the act clearly states that museums should promote democracy, which was never mentioned in any previous edition of the Museum Act. And Kimo will also let us know why it was important to make democracy a part of the mission of museums and how it should be reflected in practice. And I would like you to think of questions that you would like to ask Kimo after the presentation, because I will be back to moderate the Q&A. So if you write your questions in the chat now or, or later, um, I'll make sure to pass them on to Kimo. And without further ado, although you already see Kimo, I would like to welcome him to this online stage. Thank you, Rebecca, and thank you for your nice, nice words. And first of all, I need to apologize that I don't have this uh, nice post behind me that you sent, sent me, because I have a terrible problem to fix it to my to, to wall behind me. So <laughs> the tape was, was not uh, strong enough. So, but now I hopefully that doesn't disturb you. Yes, uh, we have heard a nice uh, presentation so far, and 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 uh, and we have already spoken about the team. What I what, what I have what I have I have a plan to uh, discuss with you and, and and present. So my title is Museum Must Promote Democracy. And I, I have I have 35 minutes time, and I have uh, these uh, six topics or seven topics. So first of all, I I'd like to uh, give my own opinion: why should democracy be promoted? And secondly, uh, I like to discuss if promoting democracy re really is a museum task. And uh, uh, then I ask the question: If we, are, if it is, do we have a problem, or if we, if, if it is not, do we have, do we have a problem with that? And if we decide to promote democracy, how to do it, do that? And what, what, which are museums' opportunities to promote democracy? And yet, like Rebecca said. We have a new museum policy 2030 and new museum act 2020. And I will present it shortly and, and a background for that, for those uh, quite new reports and quite new act or policies, policy and act. And the seventh part, the last part, is I, I will give you some example from Finland and, and from other European countries, how, how they have promote democracy. But first, I'm sure you know that uh, there's plenty of the definition of democracy, and uh, I, I I read quite many uh, quite quite many of those true when I when I make preparations for this uh, presentation. And I think that in in my mind, uh, in my opinion, democracy is the reconciling uh, siling of interest and ideologies. From the different directors, direct direction, directions through, through open debate, choices and compromise, and I like to highlight those uh, open debate, choices and compromises. And like uh, David says uh, in in his opening speech, uh, whole things what we are talking about, it's, it is question of values, and the key values of democracy are equality. Transparency, transparency, and justice. And uh, and how to make make uh, then democracy uh, democracy work? Uh, the last bubble. I found that uh, it is very uh, 
So I, I like this uh, definition that or, or, or saying that a fun function on democracy requires the opportunity for balanced debate and confidence in the commitment of the parties to compromise to the compromise read. So I think that these bubbles are quite good chain to, to think about what democracy is and and what 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 these what are values behind it. But why this topic? Why should we have a, a museum conference a topic which title is museum must promote uh, democracy, even though uh, there's a question mark behind it, behind uh, the or question uh, word and question mark behind it. Uh, mm, I think there's uh, several reasons, but I think that democracy is the foundation of social peace. And I indeed I I, I think that the the uh, that uh, most uh, important as an achievement of, of democracy has been making social peace uh, uh, in, in, in EU, EU area and in, other, in, in, in quite many other countries. And also it, it has kept, uh, it has uh, mm, uh, maintained also, how can I say, the, the uh, normal peace or, or, or peace opposite to war. So there's a quite quite long peace period in, in EU. And, it, it, uh, and also this peace period and social peace period we, that we have had in, in Europe, it has guaranteed an increase in social welfare in, in many countries in, in Europe. So there's many reasons why promote, uh, democracy should be promoted but why is why uh, democracy must promote it especially now and it is it is so that democracy is in crisis now and there are several reasons behind that uh, uh, the, particip in, uh, the participation in social issues is decreasing in 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 whole in the in whole uh, whole in in europe and uh, democratic system based on parties, but there is less commitment to polit political parties nowadays. Only six percent of Finns belongs to any political party. And if you think that that is quite low rate, it's not. In in if my sources are right, it is in in Europe in general only three percent of all Europeans uh, belong to any political parties. So people don't want to uh, influence things uh, by working political parties. And it is also so that voting, voting turnout, uh, turnout is, de is in decreasing in every <clears throat> country. Uh, parliament uh, voting uh, turnout in parliament uh, election in Finland is about a little over 60 percent and when we have EU election it's it's a uh, uh, much lesser so it is actually so that people even know or, or it is very uh, difficult people uh, to to choose what party and what uh, what party they want to vote want to vote and that that's one reason why why voting turnout is in, increasing but it is also so that uh, uh, the means of implementing democracy have, has, have not kept pace with change. As I said before, only 6% of Finns uh, are members in any parties, but still people want to influence things. Uh, the, they want to influence uh, things uh, uh, via, via social media, they want to, uh, they want to take part to, uh, to one issue movement movement like me too and 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 black lives matter movement for example but the problem is that democracy democratic system hasn't find a good way to integrate these uh, these movements or one one issue parties 
to our system or the political the democratic system and and that is a that is a problem inside democratic system and we have seen all, all over the world that the expansion of democratic system has stalled uh, and it seems that non-democratic systems uh, to be the rise especially in economic context content and that's the problem and nowadays uh, if we think the whole world, only less than 50% of people lives in democracy in the whole, whole world. And unfortunately, that rate is not increasing. So uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, this is very familiar slide to you. And, and now, now we go to the main question so is it uh, uh, is it the museum task to promote uh, democracy this uh, definition you you see now it's a icons very well known icons very well known def definition what museum is and actually it's uh, it is quite uh, it gives to museums quite passive role it says that it uh, museum is in the service of society and its development. It, it doesn't say that we need to, to do something for the society or, or that we need to try to affect different things in, 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 uh, in, uh, in societies. Yes, and the next one, I'm, some of you might also be familiar with this one. If not, I give you a second to read it. So those who know that this is this is the uh, uh, ICOM's proposal for for the for the new museum definition that they presented in in general assembly last year in Kyoto. And it is uh, it gives a uh, more wider role for museums. And yes, it says that also there is also word democrat democratizing. And and inside it, there's many of those values that are behind behind uh, functional democracy, uh, poly polyphonic spaces, dialogue, equal rights, transparent social justice, equality, and yes, well-being. And I'm sure most of most of you not knows know that that was not accepted in in in, uh, in Kyoto, and we still have a official uh, definition for the museum is the first one I sh showed you. So I I think that we need to we need to ask: Do we have a problem here? And the answer is yes, we have and. No, we don't. We have a problem to promote democracy. Uh, if we want to promote, if we think that it is, uh, we need to promote democracy worldwide. I suggest that there is no uh, the the, the, uh, the mission that uh, that uh, includes word uh, democracy won't succeed international uh, definition of museums because like i said less than 50 percent of all people uh, in the world lives in 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 democracy and it is also a question of attitude uh, democracy is nothing uh, is, is not nothing to export or import democratic can uh, foster only and uh, democratic system can live only a system that a system that share the, the common values and yes we have a problem if we think that museum role is what the, what the official uh, in, uh, official definition is now nowadays if we if we think that museum role is to be neutral uh, objective holder of information about the past and only to be like I said, in the service of society, its development. 
without the right and the responsibility to have an opinion. And if we think that uh, museums are only for cultural policy, then uh, if, uh, the, the, to promote democracy fits quite badly the, 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 to your museum vision or mission. But we don't have a problem with, with, uh, with, uh, with promoting democracy if we believe and I, I, I like to see that most of us think nowadays like this, that museums have economic, social, educational, and social policy tasks and impacts. And these, uh, these uh, uh, missions or, or objectives are also behind uh, uh, NEMO's, uh, NEMO's values and what NEMO does, like, uh, like, like David Bium says said in his opening speech. And we can't be just a passive uh, organization. And museums have to be active in fostering those impacts. So we are not only in preserving and, and exhibiting history, heritage or history also. Yes, and it is quite easy to write all, all sorts of word democratic in, in, in museum missions uh, in, in Europe because most of the European countries, are, uh, people in, in Europe lives in democracy. And if the museum uh, take its mission to, uh, to, to promote democracy, how to do it? Uh, here's a good article from, uh, from uh, made by Elina Kiski Kataja. She was a, actually, she is a, a, a researcher in Finland. She, ha she, she has made his uh, doctoral thesis uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, actually he, she has made a doctoral thesis to research uh, uh, democracy uh, and, and technology or the, or the, or the relationships, relations between democracy and, and, and technology. And he, she has written this article to Citra. Citra is the most biggest and most powerful think tank organization in Finland. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the, the article is only in, in Finnish, and this is my own translation about it, this article. But she highlights uh, quite many things, what should we do if we want to promote, promote democracy? And here's, here's four, the, four, four of those. We must, be, we must build trust and, active, and be active civil dialogue, in the dialogue uh, have an active dialogue. We must prevent equality, especially social and economic. We need reform the ways to participate. And we need to raise the level of education in lifelong learning. And it's easy to see that uh, museums have much to give in, uh, in, in promote these things. And next one, uh, next slides, a few examples and tips what, what we can do if we believe that our work is to promote democracy. Build trust. Uh, uh, and activate civil dialogue. Indeed, in, uh, we, it, museum should place an emphasis on people and identity, give different groups of people and, uh, and political parties a voice. And that is quite uh, difficult things. At least I work for half a year in, in, in quite big museums uh, last year and, and we, we rent out rooms for different kind of groups. And then there was a group who, uh, I can say that it was quite, uh, uh, quite, quite racist group who wants to, uh, to have a room from our museums. And, and of course, they want to uh, send their voices from, uh, from the museum and we, we we debate quite long, should we rent out this uh, conference room and that museum for that group? And we decided that we didn't. Uh, and it is, or we decided that we don't. Uh, and, and, 
uh, in democratic meaning, it is it was not a good or best uh, solution because I think that democracy need open 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 speech and and and. And in that case, we didn't give gave that uh, possibilities to that group. But yes, we need to uh, become integrated into the live of different communities, give communities, uh, communities the opportunity to participate in defining their cultural heritage. So we need to take uh, room, also other 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 groups, to make uh, content to our museums. We need to take uh, initiative and participate in public debate, acting as a forum for the bold and open interactions, and make content and competence in museum, like I said, openly available to the help foster new ideas and create understanding. And we got quite many good, uh, good uh, new uh, ideas, for example, from Karen from Karen in her presentation. Yes, and we need to prevent equal inequality. We need to have social goals and programs. We need to provide possibilities for free admission, but it doesn't mean that all museums need to be for free. And we need to take care of the economic value also, like Karen says before. We need to attract diverse audience that are representative of society at large. And one thing to do that, or one one thing to do that, is to 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 have a free admission for uh, for some groups or who who can't afford to buy normal ticket. And we need to remember that cultural heritage belong to all and everyone, and it is equally available to all. But we need to ask to whose heritage we are uh, preserving nowadays. And yes, we need to take a, uh, the, uh, uh, object that that our aim is increasing social economic welfare. Yes, one problem, like I said before, is that people don't participate and discuss that much anymore uh, through parties. And then we are, that's why we need, we need to reform the way of participate. We need to pay, make uh, museum a space for debate. And that uh, doesn't happen in, in, in my museum when I worked in, in Last year, but I hope that most of the, uh, most of the times it, it it is so that museum keep pace, keep keep a space for debate. Yes, and we need to involve also. We just don't need to need to show different uh, groups history and culture. We need to take them with us to create the content. And uh, maybe, maybe this is the must uh, one of the uh, things that. People have museum have done a long time. We are a place for learning. Or we are we have raised the level of education, and we are a place of lifelong learning. And it is a key value also lifelong learning in behind democracy. So we need to activate people to visit museum that they can learn, and and we need to activate. Then uh, there is so much that they visit regularly, and like Rebecca said, for in Finland we all, for example, have this museum card system, and it helps people to visit museums, different museums, regularly, many times per year. Yes, uh, some example now, now when uh, and 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 the and the rest of my presentation, I look what has been done so far in Finland in some other parties. You might know that we are we are Finland is very uh, proud about the history of our country's democracy. We have had it for a long time, and Finnish women were the first in Europe that came to vote in in 1906. During the Second World War, there were only eleven functional democracies in the world, dominated by totalitarianism, and Finland was one one of those. And we, uh, Mr. Putin and Mr. Trump visited our country in 2018, and we welcomed them to to say them that yes, you 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 they came to the land of free press, and it was a very visible campaign, and it was also a very important message and uh, for the, for those for both of those presidents, but it was also uh, very uh, important to to highlight. 
that this is one of the key values in, in, in Finland. Yes, we have a, uh, uh, we have a made a, a new museum policy and it is launched, launched, launched in 2018 and it's named Museum of Opportunities and you can find it uh, from, from web. I was, uh, I was a member in that working group who, who made this new policy and when we started to work with it, we, we define what is the operational environment, what, where we will live in coming 10 years. And we've written that the greatest challenge for, of our time is finding the means and creating structure for ecologically, culturally and economically sustainable growth in welfare. The starting point for this new policy is that museums are not only for the cultural policy. It's for ecological, ecological policy, policy and economical policy and social policy, of course. We, uh, we defined our uh, in, uh, common values that all uh, professional museums should share in Finland. And here they are. And yes, we uh, highlighted this democracy. Yeah, the, one, the fourth uh, uh, value is that museum, museum uh, are pluralism and are for plural, pluralism and democracy. And these are the keywords that cultural heritage belongs to everyone. And, and we need to uh, play an important part in supporting in developing a culturally diverse society with many different. So this policy, uh, this don't start that museum just be, we need to be very active. And there's many key social impact objectives for uh, for the museum, but the, I think that uh, for the Democrats, for the demo, uh, promote democratic, this is the sixth most important one. Uh, museum will highlight social important and current themes in operational exhibitions, build understanding, uh, exper experiment with the search of new ways of participation and engagement, participate in cooperation project and partnership, work towards increasing social equality, and become learning environments that support broad competence and lifelong learning. Uh, you can read those from 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 uh, from uh, the the. Uh, you can read them from uh, that uh, policy. I see that I have only three minutes time, so I need to go further. And uh, we will uh, evaluate if we have succeed to to fulfill these uh, objectives uh, in, in 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 this year first time in this year we haven't done it yet but hopefully during during the autumn and yes we uh, we have done already something the first step as achieving this goal is that we 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 uh, launches a new museum act and uh, and it's a very modern act and uh, it gives uh, for the museums or for the Museum Act three, four, uh, four objectives. And the fourth one is where we have said it in Finland, we have said it very clearly. We need to promote democracy. So a professional museum in Finland do not have any, any, any uh, possibility to, to, to choose if or not they will promote this it's written in our Museum Act. Some example from Finland. Uh, maybe the museum, uh, the benchmark museum. If you want to uh, to 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 benchmark museum that has very uh, 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 that uh, social impacts are in the core of the uh, mission, then you will uh, the Finnish uh, label museum will be Verstas will be good. They are they have mission to to. Uh, to have uh, impact in social, uh, social, they, they have in their mission to Im they need to impact social, social things, and and they are also part part of international social forum. Good example or good project also was the asylum museum project. It was it is not a museum, but when there's a uh, refugee crisis, uh, museum uh, fifty museum made a guidebook uh, how to 
how to uh, create activities for asylum seekers. That publication is not, uh, I'm not sure if it's in Finnish only. But good example is also that a democracy is very important for museum nowadays. Uh, this is not a Finnish museum, this is Switzerland Museum of Communication that can get a museum prize in 2019. And very good example about a good project for the museum is this Swedish 100 years democracy. Uh, they celebrate 100 years democracy this year and they have this kind of, this kind of project that they give uh, uh, they they organize hundred discussions in about the democracy in museums. Dave Fleming, well very well known museum philosopher, has uh, has defined democratic museum, and all his museum where he has uh, worked, the the social impacts has been very uh, highlighted very very much. And yes, there's also museum of, of democracy in 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 the United States. I haven't visited there, but introduction uh, uh, text says that it's quite a, quite a traditional museum, but it maintains quite the, the, the purpose of the museum and it, it preserves democratic materials and demo, democratic values for sure. And yes, when I questionize if the if the uh, if if the museum must pro promote democracy or who do we have a tools to do that? It's quite obvious that we have. If you uh, if you written write uh, Google, if you search Google, uh, write museum and democracy and and museum and this kind of values behind democracy, you have you get millions of hits, and it's obvious that the museum have have and can play a role, big role in, in, in uh, promoting democracy. And the conclusion is that, yes, museum must promote equality, transparency and justice. We need, to, we need to promote those values. We need to participate in discussions. We need to provide space for the other. We need to ensure economic and social accessibility, offer social programs, define measurable goals for them. And yes, democracy will follow. Thank you. Two minutes over. Um, I'll start with one question and then we had questions from the audience already. Um, and we only have a bit of time. So now I'm very sorry, but we're going to take your break time, your precious break time to do a little Q&A. And then at 11.30 Berlin time, we will continue the program. So we have about 12 minutes. And I'm wondering if you would have a suggestion who would like to start promoting democracy more, but works at a museum that is not backed up by a framework such as the Museum Act? Can you think of the first step to start implementing yeah. it? Yes, actually, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, hopefully, I, I don't know if you if you share those slides to participants of this conference, but if you have a, uh, have a chance to read this uh, David, uh, David Fleming's article about democratic museum. For me, it says that actually uh, museums don't need to change much what, what they are. We, we are still for the collections. We, are, we, we can have block past the uh, uh, exhibition and so, so, so on. So, but it is uh, more or less questions. And I think that it's questions of attitude more that, that, that we, need to, uh, we need to be active to do that. But actually, actually, we don't need to change uh, the basic things in museum and change the core values that that come from uh, preserving uh, collections and, and so so on. But it is it is more that uh, how museums see themselves in society that we are for different. Uh, uh, impacts in, in, in societies for social, for economic, and, and, and so on. It's, it's more, more or less that uh, change of attitude, not, not in actual work. We, we, or every, I think that every museum, uh, despite if they don't use the word democracy or have, have, uh, have defined the values behind it, we work mm -hmm. for the democracy. Yeah, thank you. Because, because we, yeah. I, I could I pick one of no, the questions know. that we got earlier when you were doing the presentation and then Sophie Fairbeke was asking how 
and you kind of uh, motivated that um, to tolerate difference by giving a platform to these um, to this kind of racist um, uh, opinions. Mm -hmm. um, and then she asked, "How do you interpret this?" Uh, or sorry, yeah. So how did how, what was the reasoning uh, about for giving this platform? Uh, and Edith and also, it. yeah, sorry. Mm, yeah, we didn't give it, and well, it's uh, it, it was a city museum, and and this uh, this group, uh, I can say it, it, it was a racist group. It, it was very loud, and and also the city museum, city uh, the directors of the city thought that it it might cause problems, that there will be huge demonstrating against the museum, against the city. And it will collect uh, uh, groups that are uh, against that that uh, that un racist group. Uh, there there mm -hmm. will be huge demonstration in that cities. But the question is that uh, this is also the part of democracy. And but uh, I I don't know what's the uh, solution, right? I, I, if we need to give uh, give voice for a different group. Uh, people and it is the basic value of democracy so how how can we do like do do like we we done we did but it's also that uh, i i think that it's we 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 must see the difference between give voice for the for the groups and uh, and and museum voice mm. Of course, the museum also need to be active, and it it must have a, their own opinion. Mm. But uh, but uh, but still, uh, uh, if we are very active to 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 promote our own opinion, then we change the the way museums work quite quite much. But still, uh, still, uh, I think that when we need to be active, then we need to have a voice. Mm. But I think that in general we need to have give space for different yeah. voices. Okay. Yeah, we have an um, addition from uh, Maria Vlahu who uh, points out that democracy doesn't support racism. Not all opinions are tolerable, and racism is not an opinion. And I think that's the kind of the uh, what this question yeah. was all about. That um, should we really tolerate everything because actually it's not part of democracy. And then yes, that's, Carlos, that's good. good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then Carlos also of, added, of um, how do you decide what is the concept of democracy? After all, there are from the minimalist procedural, like uh, from the terrorists to the yeah. participatory direct and forth. Yeah, <laughs> so there's a lot of yeah. comments. Yeah, I, actually, I, I tried to try to say it in, 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 in my first, uh, during my first slide that, yes, I, I read there's, there's several definitions yeah. of democracy. And I, I have also made my my uh, my dissertation in, in in politics, but uh, and I know that there is several. And yeah. I actually I I just chose them what's what fits best for me. Mm. In, uh, but it's not my own. Of course, I, I pick up uh, different uh, different words from different uh, different uh, yeah, uh, definitions. Yeah. Mm, do we have another question that anyone would like to type in or even ask? Directly with video. <laughs> Otherwise, I had another question prepared, and uh, maybe you already mentioned it. But I was also wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about how what the Finnish Museums Association's role in developing this Museum Act was. Like, how involved were you? Um, for anyone who's not yes. so familiar with the Finnish bu bureaucracy. Yes, we had uh, in both the, the process went so that first we defined and made this social uh, this, this uh, museum policy 2030, and we, we had a very large working group to do that. Finnish Museum Association one one part of it, and there was also ministry and and uh, Finnish uh, uh, heritage agency and different museums. And after that, we have a working group to make new museum pact, and and also museum association was a part of of of, of, of making that act. So we we were very well, very much involved to this process, and and maybe that's why I think that we have very good museum act. But it it took 
there was a lot of good debates. It took quite much time, but I, I think that it was worth it. Mm. And, and comparing the Museum Act, uh, our previous Museum Act that dates back 1919s, it, it's, it is easy to see how the society has changed, how, how, how the museum has changed, just comparing to those acts. Uh, if yeah. we go back to 1990s, there, it, it, could, it would be, in that time, it, it, is, it was impossible to think that we should write in our act that museum must promote democracy. It, mm. it, 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 it has, has sounded quite odd, but not anymore, I think. Yeah, well, that's good, I think. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. Mm. We have a question from Julia Pagel, who is asking, what implication does the new Museum Act have for the organizational structure of museums? Are museums more democratic in the organization itself? No, it hasn't changed the uh, way museums are organized. And, and of course, it, it has all other changes. It has how, how the museum will be funded and what's the museum, what museum, uh, their Ariel Museum and or regional, re regional museum and, and national museum and that kind of things. But it hasn't uh, uh, changed the, how the museum work. But I'm sure that it, 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 it has uh, highlighted uh, uh, the work uh, the, uh, or social impacts in museum work, nearly every museum. Mm. But it is so. So we can't measure that. Yeah, and I think that it's not wise that that museum have a have a some kind of event. That this event is for the democracy. It, I, I I like to say that we just need to sell and promote those values mm. which are behind democracy, and democracy will will follow. Like I said in my last yeah. slide. So it's more of a long-term change rather than a quick fix exhibition on the Yes, and, and of course, in Finland, we have a very strong democracy, but it, we have still same uh, signals that our democracy is also in, in, in crisis in many yeah, ways. Definitely. I have a question from Daniel Friarisan, wondering if there were any critique to the Museum Act. Um, from, uh, and if so, where did they come from, and how did you answer it? No, the, actually, there hasn't been very much critic against the Museum Act. Maybe the maybe the, the one reason is this process how we made it. So the mm. museums could involve this process much, and that's why the critic when we when it was launched launched in the beginning of this year, there was no critic at all. Mm. But it's quite a new law. It's, it is only valid, valid in, in, in nearly nine uh, months, right? Nine <laughs> months. Yeah. But uh, when when it was launched, uh, it has not critic at all. Perfect. Um, I think maybe we have to wrap it up now. I might take one okay. more question because at eleven thirty we have the next presentation happening on the main stage, and. Uh, uh, I'm very happy to see the discussions also happening in the in the chat function, and I'm wondering if uh, you will keep being able to keep doing it. Otherwise, uh, in the next uh, coffee break, you could join the networking session, and hopefully, you'll connect with someone who could who you could continue this discussion with. So, I will actually thank you so much, Kimo, for joining us thank from you. Finland. It was a real pleasure, thank you. and uh, yeah, and I hope that everyone who joined here will also stick around for the rest of the day and come back tomorrow for the workshops. Yeah, we okay. will. Okay, thank you, yeah. Paul, and see you, thank you. online. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs>